Hey guys, welcome back to the Critterverse. Uh, today, as you can see by the screen, I am making another Ouija board. However, I'm going to be doing this one a little bit different. I am going to be making a beach themed <laughs> Ouija board. So we'll see how this goes. And uh, what I'm doing right now is, move that, I am mixing up about 15, no, maybe, well, no, about 10 mil of resin with some sand. And this is just ordinary, you know, just crafting sand, craft sand, you can get it at any crafting store, Amazon, Timu, Wish, you know, anywhere you want, basically. So I'm just going to stir this up and make sure that all of the sand is mixed in. And now I have to figure out how exactly, because the logistics of this is a little bit unusual. Sorry, I'm putting the lid on the sand because it, it, it's upside down, you know? So I have to figure out how I want to do it to make it look, you know, right. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sand around the edge of the board. here and then over the top and just scrape 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 sorry about my big hand in the way apologize I'm just trying to get all my ducks in a row here quack quack so <laughs> get all of the sand and resin down into the cracks here. Make sure that it's all covered. But as this is the back, you know, it's really, it's not a big thing. So, all right. So now that I've got that done, I think what I'm going to do is add See, I've got the rest of this here. I'm going to put a little bit of my resin in a separate cup. And I just mixed up two ounces. If I failed to say that earlier, sorry. Um, mix up two ounces or uh, of resin. Just put a little bit in my cup. And now I'm going to be using some Illumilite white and since there's just such a teeny amount I'm just going to put one drop clean off the top of the bottle and then I'm going to add a couple of drops of regular white alcohol ink to that just so it doesn't sink as much. I'm going to do that. Put the cap back on the white. Let me, let me clean off my stick. And just mix this up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white, yeah, that's cool, that's, I'm just going to take my white, get a little bit of it off the stick, 
and then just kind of go around the edge of my sand. Since this is going to be upside down, I'm going to be pouring the blue on top of it. So if I want to make waves or anything, I have to do that before I put the blue down. So that's the method to my madness here. I want to make sure I, if I go over any letters, I want to make sure that I get inside of them so there's not any holes or anything. So, I'm going to get my sides here. Where's my side? I'm going to get my big old head in the way. Sorry. And my wet hair because I just got out of the shower. Okay, now I'm going to dribble some clear here. If this works, it's going to be amazing. I have no idea if it's going to work or not. This was just really an experiment. Butt that up to my white. Make sure my little numbers and letters are covered. I've never seen anybody do a reverse wave, you know, like ocean y thing before. And get my dotting tool and go inside of these just to make sure that I get inside of all of those little doodahs. Okay. Dribble some more clear. Go back in with a little bit more white just along the edge of that clear. Droopy, droopy, droopy. <laughs> That's actually kind of fun. It's like painting by numbers. Okay. Now. Dribble, dribble, dribble.
Okay. No. I'm going to go in with Monsoon from Ranger and put in two drops, see how that is. Pretty light. So, once it always turns out like super green. All right, so there's another two drops. But I guess depending on which ocean you're in, you know, is what color it's going to be. I do want to be a little bit bluer, so I'm going to add a drop of Glacier, again from Ranger. Yeah, that's better. And then I'm going to pour it around the outside first. Fill in that rim. And then go over the top. And fill in the blanks and try not to disturb what I've done too much. All right, so now that I've got all that done, I am going to go in and just fill in the blanks. Again, this is the back. So I'm just going to real lightly Fill in the blanks, just make a sure, make a sure, yeah, make a sure that everything is even. And it looks like it is. So now I'm going to go and just fill in my little planchette. Because he doesn't take much, he's very tiny. Torch, 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 torch. Boop. This is a very small mold, so I have to be careful not to burn it. But I do want to get rid of some of those bubbles, even though, you know, hey, it's an ocean. There are going to be bubbles. There is water. Mm. All right. Now, I'm just going to kind of run my. Just to make some little wavy gravy looking bits. Okay. So I've got, wow, I've got a lot of resin left over. So, um, what do we want to do now? Wow, 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 wow. With our resin. I will find something. You know what? I have a mold here that I made out of a an amethyst crystal cluster. Uh, and, you know, I made the mold, so I will pour some or spray some alcohol in there just to try to dissipate any bubbles, and then I'm going to pour from kind of high up, which gives the bubbles a little bit more of a chance to pop on their own. And then just pour that resin in. Try 
pour this in the water there. All right, so there we go. Uh, we will wait for this to do its thing, and then I will be back with you for the next step. See you soon. All right, it is the next morning, about 6.03 a.m. here in beautiful Colorado Springs. Uh, and we're going to demold this beachy weegee. Beachy weegee. <laughs> anyway, sorry. All right, so let's get the little planchette out first. And it is a little tiny little thing, so it is a little bit fiddly, but it does come out. Got to get it in there. Hey, my girl. Hey, my cute. Oh, tiny little guy. All right. Now. Ooh. Oh, those sounds. <laughs> I love it. All right. Here's our mold. Nice and clean. see what we got oh wow how cool is that look oh wow it turned out really cool you see that with the waves and the sand and underneath it's awesome you can see oh wow that's so cute hang on let me scoot you guys in a little bit if I can Look how cute it is. Oh, I love it. And all of the holes, there's not, I mean, seriously, there is not one bubble that turned out so, oh, wait, I gotta, I, I'm lying. I'm lying to you. I'm a liar. Debunked. There is one tiny little bubble right there by the zero. I don't know if you can see it, but there is one T91. But other than that, it looks so super cute. I am just thrilled. Yay. So there's our beachy weegee. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, drop a like, of course, please. Um, and uh, yeah, I will... Uh, See you uh, again for the next one. Got some uh, some cool stuff coming up, so uh, I hope to see you there. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Cheers.